Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved onto a narrow boat called Nutshell. Make sure you stay tuned right to the end. We got news. Without further ado, this is how the week unfolded. It's a foggy day out there today. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. I'm going to cook a full English breakfast. Thanks. Here we go, Mr. Warner. I managed to cook breakfast using essentially leftovers. Like we had a couple of sausages left, there was two bits of bacon left. And I made a delicious feast using mm. half a tin of baked beans that was in the fridge. This is, this is because I want to use up what we've got. Talking of using up what we've got, and not buying new stuff. Uh, Glenn brought me this yesterday. I love these. I am going to make my own iced coffee. I'm going to use this bottle, make my own iced coffee, stick it in the fridge. I can have that later. It's not the only excellent idea I've had today. As if there's not enough on the board, I've had another idea. I, th I thought of creating a new channel which had highlights of lots of different boat vlogs it would be a great way to help raise the profile of new and upcoming vlogs as well as some of the favorites i'm adding vlogger box to my list so we've just come out for a little stroll we're going to walk to Willen lake hopefully get a cup of tea there as well it's another mild day not quite sunny and beautiful as yesterday though so anyway just stretching our legs it gets dark so early that we need to make sure we get out and get moving otherwise we just sit in the boat all day the bloke just went past us on a massive unicycle i've never seen anything like it gonna get a cup of tea Mr. Warner's getting a bit of a collection of these. This is another two to add to his list. He says he's going to refurb them and sell them, but I think he just likes them. It's that time of day. It's decidedly chilly. Fire is out. You know what this means? I'm going for the rebuild. I'm not going to be beaten this time. Let's start by emptying it first. Filled the coal bucket, emptied the ash. I've got to say, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm feeling confident with that build. Time for a cup of tea. Right, fire on. Cup of tea made. Notebook. Phone. I'm going to work out the best way to do our podcast. don't know if you can see the kindling's burning lovely, but none of it is actually touching any coal. This fire is definitely not roaring, and it's not chucking out a load of heat, but... The coals are definitely lit there. So I would consider that a success. This is auto solve. I love this stuff. I used to buy them as a kid. You used to do me your wheels and everything with it. Um, and you literally you don't have to, it's not much effort. It's because it's tarnished. It's just tarnished. And you just give it a little bit of a uh, little bit of a rub. If the more you do it, the more shiny it will get. Oh. And then basically put that on like that. Nice bit of clean cloth. And then just rub it off. Magic. So, Mr. Warner, how much did you pay for this pair of beauties? Nice pair. Yes. Um, 35 quid. Now, to give you an idea, the glass, because it's quite common for this glass to go. Yeah. Um, to buy the glass new is 25 99 Right. So, just to get the two bits of glass... Yeah. ...would, be, would cost me 50 quid. Okay. So... Um, you got a bargain there. Well, I'm going to leave you polishing your lamp and I'm going I think to cook. Eugenia come out. Again, oh, I so. hope so. What would you wish for, Glenn? What would you wish for? Well, to knock out COVID and all go back to normal. <laughs> um, okay, well, keep rubbing. So I just said to Mr. Warner, I've emptied the fire out, relit the fire, and uh, it's all lit and all is good. And, and look what's happened. Well, that is well, definitely not a lie it was a beautiful fire as yeah, well glenn right burgers are in the pan in a minute
minute, when they're ready, I'm going to add a spoonful of the red onion chutney. You could also use chilli jam, but I'm using this one for a change. And then I'm going to put some cheese on top. In here, got some salad veg, and I've just made that really simple salad dressing, which is like one teaspoon of sugar, two tablespoons of olive oil, and a, a bit of lemon juice, some salt and pepper. Just gonna, I'm not gonna use all that. I'll stick some in a jar for another day. Okay, so that's a dollop of the red onion chutney. Gonna stick a couple of bits of there. I've actually turned that off now. I'm just gonna leave that for five minutes or so. There you go, Mr. Warner. Oh, that looks amazing. Mr. Oh, Warner. amazing. Mm. It's Sunday night. We're getting started on our list. Can you guess what we're gonna do? Here we go. Let's get started. We're just downloading the Disney Plus app. Aladdin Lion King Tangled. I've never seen Tangled. Mm. I, I think it's based on Rapunzel, I think. Mm. Okay, let's go. I thought it was great. I'm gonna give it a good eight out of 10. Good morning to you and welcome to Monday. Today is going to be a great day. I just know it already. A delicious sausage sandwich to start the day. There you go, Mr. Warner. Thanks. The morning is progressing well. Glenn, well, he's here and he's not having the best morning. Glenn doesn't do well when he's sat in front of his computer for prolonged periods of time. That is why we created the board with all those jobs on. Glenn has almost finished the boxing in of the pipes. Let me show you. These woods are a bit different colour because ones we've had, the outside, a bit of the wood we've had for a long time. What am I doing? Well, I've done my video editing this morning and spoken to my mum, made a sausage sandwich, made several cups of tea. I am going to contact Tara because we have to decide upon the cover of our new product. So I'll tell you more about that later, just before I speak to Tara. So in my quest to find stuff to do, I'm gonna measure our solar panel so I know which one to order. Make sure I get the same size because otherwise it'll look a bit rubbish. So let me tell you about the new product I'm launching with my friend Tara. It's gonna be a pack of conversation cards for foreign languages. We've named the product already. It's called Lingo V. I'm gonna show you the mock-ups when I'm on the uh, call with Tara. This product is gonna be sent straight into Amazon. I'm doing a course at the moment, a uh, Amazon course, and I'm testing out all the strategies that's advised in the, the course. This is Tara. She is a designer extraordinaire and a brilliant product designer as well. So I've worked with Tara on lots of projects. So we're excited about this one, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We've yeah. been thinking about it for a while, haven't we? Yeah, so this is going to be good. So I'm looking now at the Lingo V Pack Ideas version 2. When we talked last week, we both really liked the one with the white background. Yeah. I was a bit worried that white might get lost in the background. This is a good example. All white covers. They're not as strong no, as no. the coloured. I think we should go with the coloured version. But that was a really interesting conversation with Tara. We just talked through that front cover design and and the tweaks we want to make to it. There's some stuff I need to do on the organisational stuff. So getting ready to open our Seller Central account on Amazon. There's just a few things I need to do. And we're going to check back in in a few days and see how we're getting on. So I've just been around to pick a Hello Fresh box. So let's have a little look. We've got hoisin chicken and plum stir fry. That looks good. We have beef koftas, Tuscan style sausage, beef fried rice, and Prince Harry's chicken pie. We like this one. Anyway, we get better get it put away. 
Right, for tonight's dinner, hoisin chicken and plum stir fry. Ready in 20 minutes. So, oh, the rice is cooking. The chicken is cooking. There was two plums in the bag, so I've chopped those. They go in now and they've got to cook for a minute or so. Oh, this is looking tasty. This looks and smells delicious. Let's eat. Good morning to you. I'm running late. I can't find my face mask. I'm hoping it's in the car. Um, I'll, I'm going to get going. I'll fill you in in a bit. So good morning to you and welcome to Tuesday. Let's bake off tonight, Glenn. So we are off to the office and then Glenn's got an Amazon round. We haven't done one of these for flipping ages. So uh, it'll be good to get uh, in the swing of it. Glenn's just said he wants to do loads of Amazon rounds in the next uh, month or so to, to pay for Christmas. Once we've done the Amazon round, Glenn's gonna take me to my mum's, stay and have some dinner, and then I'm gonna stay at my mum's for a couple of days. Glenn, what are you doing now? It's a generator that Liam bought and he gave it to Julianne. She went to start it the other day. It started leaking petrol everywhere. So, but this is like the generator. It's like a massive alternator. Yeah. So, like in the boat, it gets driven by a fan belt. Yeah. And in here, it gets driven by a little engine. I'm just trying to get to the petrol tank so I can have a quick look. So you can sort of see, there's the little engine, the little sort of baby engine. So where's the petrol tank? This thing here. Okay. I haven't seen a hole yet, but okay. I'm uh, presumed it's not going to be far away in the tank oh yeah we have finished at the office and we're on our way to do an amazon man we've been very productive we've been super i often find the less time that we have the more productive we are in that do you get what i mean we are really hoping it's going to be out towards wellingborough because that's where i need to end up so Fingers crossed. NN3 will do. NN3 will be great. Definitely don't want Milton Keynes. Keynes. <laughs> that wouldn't be so great. No queue today. We like going straight in. Nice and easy. 41 parcels. How many stops, Glenn? 20, 29. 29 stops, 41 parcels. And it's, it's NN3. NN3. Exactly where we wanted it. How lucky is that? It's 12.30, so let's see how long this takes. Nice. One hour, 45 minutes. Amazon round all done. That's not bad. And Glenn had an issue with one of the parcels. On our way to my mum's now. We've arrived at mum's. Kettle is on. Mum made a silly mistake with a Tesco online order. I love it when she makes these mistakes. So we've got to eat these now because she's got multiple packs and the sell by date means they won't last till Christmas. I just buy a rainbow. No, I think the rain's coming, mum. I think it's coming. We got a full on roast dinner going on here. Be ready in about 15 minutes. Here we go. Oh, it's lovely, Lisa. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. I'm at Mum's, Glenn's back at the boat. I'm gonna have some breakfast and then I said to Mum, do you fancy sitting down watching some narrow boat vlogs? So Mum is like a YouTube purist. She only watches us. But I'm like, Mum, there are lots of other narrow boat and boat vlogs. So I'm gonna introduce her to a few. Welcome to what are we on Wednesday. Mrs. Warner's at her mum's, and I am just going to go outside and have a quick measure of this pontoon outside. So I'm just editing Wednesday's vlog. You'll be watching that now. And Mr. Warner's just mentioned that he's going to go and measure a pontoon outside. But I've realised we haven't even told you what the plan was. The idea was that we could move to an off grid pontoon outside the marina so that we could practice uh, living off grid before we went off on our adventure. I just needed to say that so you knew why he was measuring up. So I'm just walking around to 
Well, it's where Mel and, <coughs> Mel and Liam's boat is. Um, they're 70 foot, actually, but they're a wide beam, so they take up whole space. Um, the space that's available, I just want to measure up. So this is the spot here. So our boat is 70 foot long. And this pontoon, from ring to ring, is 34 foot. So then our boat will then stick out along parallel with Ian's and stick out, it will go further and further. Our boat will stick out as far as Liam's, but Liam's got the towpath on his side. Our boat's just gonna be in the middle of the canal there. It's just after midday, Glenn needs some more vitamin D. So we're off to Holland and Barrett to get him some of that. So I got Glenn's vitamin D. Mum's gonna go and get some chips so that we can have chip butties. Yeah. One customer allowed at a time. Oh, well that was a nice bit of exercise. So I've just measured that nutshell from basically from here, which is the front. So here is where the other ring is. Our centre line is here, which is probably another four foot. And then that much from here, this much. of the boat to here is going to be hanging out. Personally, not keen. I think it's, um, the boat's just going to be pivoting, pivoting on, on not less than half of it. While Mrs Warner's not here, I'm trying to get this um, boxing in finished. So it's all tidied up now and uh, ready to paint. I've just had to put some a new strip in there also to make an end for it so it's like capped off so I'm just having a tidy up and Mrs Warner wanted something to hold the table so I've made a little wooden slot to put the table in I think I, I did originally put the the pole up here but I might move it to under the radiator so it's out of the way it looks a bit rubbish up there move that under there I've made a little um, twist lock for that, so you just basically pull the table out, store it in, push that round, and it um, locks it into place. That'll do for today. It's getting dark now, and it is only just four o'clock, so I'm going to have a clear up before it gets too dark. Put my mum down between it. Find it. <laughs> Are you comfy? Oh, yes. <laughs> Get me cushions. <laughs> right, we've both got our feet up. I'm going to introduce Mum to some more YouTubers. You'll like this, Mum. <laughs> so I've just come up to bed. I have been working hard this evening. Oh, yes, I have. Been on the Lingovi project. I've, I've done lots of work on that this evening. And I will tell you about it in the morning because my eyes are like this now and I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Thursday, a blue sky sort of day. So yesterday I did lots of work for the new Lingo V product and I'm gonna tell you about that in a bit, but first, tea and toast. Morning and welcome to a chilly Thursday morning. Um, woke up this morning, it was actually pouring with rain when I went to bed, so it was quite mild last night, so I didn't do much with the fire. But obviously it cleared overnight and the temperatures dropped right down. Anyway, I've got to go to work today, to Northampton, and then I've got to pick Mrs Warner up later. I will see you in a little while. So mum needs to pick her prescription up from the doctors, it's just down the road. I'm gonna walk down with her. Mum's gonna go and join the queue.
Here comes mum, that was super quick. Just come upstairs to do a little bit of work while I'm at mum's. I wanted to tell you more about the new product that we're launching for Amazon and tell you where I'm at with it because I promise to update you as I go along. To be able to set up a Amazon seller account called Seller Central, there's a few things you need. I need the bank account to open the Amazon account, but before I open the bank account, I need some sort of website or or web page. So I've been working on creating a very simple website last night for it, but I needed a tagline. I've got a couple of favourites there, bringing language to life around the world. And also, we had to have a description and that's 267 characters and I've got 300 to play with. So my aim today is to agree on a slogan and a description with Tara and to get the logo finalised and get that website up. Once I've got the website up, then I'm applying for the bank account. Oh, I think Glenn's going to be here any minute now so i'm just getting my shoes on i'll go and see if i can meet him i didn't get very far did i here he is we are leaving mums but look we got mum in the back <laughs> we haven't kidnapped her don't worry we're just dropping mum off she needs to go to the local hospital for a blood test just a routine blood test so we're going to drop mum off i said we'd wait but she said she's going to walk back because it's a beautiful afternoon there's a there's a quicker way there's a quick way this is this is a shortcut Glen. this ain't short definitely round here somewhere uh, uh, this isn't it's too far isn't it? yeah it's definitely a left down here yeah, yeah yes definitely a left down here i think it's this yeah, next it's left this left this, this uh, no, next, next one. one, next one, next one. Oh, yeah. No, we know where we're going. I'm sure it's this one, Glenn. Okay. Left it. Yeah, left it. No, not this one. It's dead end. Next left. Next left. Oh, Definitely. Next there. left. Yeah. That's the police station. <laughs> <just> <laughs> <up there. laughs> we only have to go left at the traffic light. Oh look, there's a sign. Hospital. <laughs> Mum's glad to get out no, now. Right. <laughs> Save me a walk. All Thank right. You. See you later, Mum. Bye. 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 Harry, are you and Dad in a beard growing competition? Yeah. I think so. Dad says that he's not going to shave his for a... For a lockdown. Throughout lockdown? Are no, you not? No. He's going he's gonna to grow it. Like Santa by Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> All right, my darling. All right, we'll, Speak see, to we'll you see how later. that goes. Just got in, look. We've got a. It's dried out, it's probably been hot down here. Yeah, we've got a plant disaster going on. Let me get some water in there, then I'll. In fact, let me pop you there one second. Hopefully, that'll bring that back. Let's look at Mr. Warner's handiwork. This looks really good. Yeah, well, I'll put the pole under there. Oh yeah, the pole looks because great I there. Like it up here. No. It looks messy. And then this is that's a piece of trim. Yeah. And then basically this is my little my lock system. Your adaptation. Yeah, and I just made it. Yeah, that looks great, and darling. Twist round. And then lift the table out. Just like it. I like the position of it as well. It won't right, stick out so much. box in pipes, tick. Just gone back in, but coming back out because my friend Julianne just texts me and says, Do you fancy meeting up to go for a walk? I was like, Yes, I do. So, straight in, drop the bags off, straight back out again. So, I've got a few bits and bobs to open. Let's have a little look. I'm going to upgrade all the solar panel connectors. So, basically, it's male and female connectors. And they they screw they screw together make it waterproof i've got some new wire coming and i've got these new connectors which will screw together and make some watertight connectors so yeah no leakage i'm going to make those so they need crimping i've got some crimpers for those the box can't remember i bought quite a few things lately this might not be anything to do with the, with boats let's have a look let's have a look what is that Oh, this is me um, tilly lamp refit kit, so it has to do all the new bushes and that. 
so that's cool. That's the, all the new uh, rubber seals. And then finally, I I, again, I don't think this is anything to do with a boat. Basically, I've got some. I'm buying and selling CBs at the moment. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. And I needed to put some new plug. I need to put a new plug on on the end of a microphone. So I bought bought three because they were on a deal. And basically, I need to solder this on. I'll take some video of that. Yeah, that's what I need. Yeah. So basically, I need to put a new a new plug on the end of a, a microphone for a CB radio. Um, and this is the right plug and it will just make it a little bit better and that's it today oh and my solar panels turned up i'm just waiting for the brackets and the wire so there was no point in going back to pick it up such a lovely walk we talked about all sorts of things about the world about happiness about the, what it is to be happy how we create it deep conversation perfect right better go and see mr warner cook some dinner so this is the petrol tank i took out the generator and this and it's just here where it's really damaged let's see what we can do with it Anyway, I'll get some aerodite on that. Right. So that's got a, like a resin right over the hole now, over every bit of it. So this stuff should go off like plastic. And tonight for dinner, Prince Harry's chicken pie. We've had this several times, it is lovely. So this is the little CB plug I need to change. This just wants to come out all the time. So I've bought a new plug um, and I'm gonna re-solder it all in here with said soldering station, which was kindly donated to me by uh, Charlie from, from the city of Sheffield. Now it doesn't mean it's not from the city of Sheffield, that's the name of his narrow boat. That's the new plug on and rather than sellotape I've put heat shrink on there and so it should now bend around better and work better. I've got to make sure it works obviously. Uh, there we go Mr Warner. Thanks. Enjoy and we've got a good podcast today to listen to. Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Good morning to you and welcome to Friday. It's an exciting day today. 7.30 this morning, we got news. Do you remember earlier in the week, I suggested to Mr Warner that we should go out to the off-grid moorings and experience life off-grid before we started doing some serious cruising next year? That didn't work out. The pontoon was too short. We found a mooring, an off-grid mooring in Bedfordshire. All we need now is for lockdown to end and for us to be able to move the boat and then we'll be living off grid. Uh, where are you off to, Mr Warner? Clean the windows down this side. The windows are filthy. Oh, it's always a bit brave to be waterside. Always fearless. So we've handed in our notice. Oh my goodness, it all feels a bit real now. Ah. So do you remember a couple of weeks ago, I said I'd got some candles that had burnt down and would no longer light and I'd found a solution for them. I'm gonna make some homemade fire lighters. I also read that you can use tea bags or tea leaves to go in these fire lighters. I don't know, I read it, I read it on the internet, so it must be true. I have been saving our tea leaves and we got the pine cones. I'm gonna melt that wax and see what happens. So this is the candle and then I've got a bit of wax there, I've got some wax there, a little bit there. So the idea is I've got to melt these and then stir in the tea leaves and then pour them into these and each one will make a fire lighter. Simple. Right. I've got all my bits of old candles in there and I'm going to stick that in the microwave. In it goes. 
you know what? It's taken a lot longer to melt that wax than I thought. Still going, still not all melted. Right, it's not all melted yet, but I'm giving up. I'm giving up the wheel. So into this, I'm gonna put the tea leaves. The tea leaves were quite wet. That wasn't good. I've stuck them in there and they've immediately gone a bit funny. But do not fear. The internet said you could literally just do that. Just dip in the fir cones. That's the fire lighter. Just there. Okie doke. I have made a real mess there. But look at that. Yeah, these ones weren't quite so good. I don't think you need the addition of the tea leaves. I can't see how that helps. I just think fir cones leftover bits of wax that's going to be good i mean this with the tea mm, not sure it just doesn't look as pretty and these well these are we'll see how they work but they look a mess anyway mess made i'm going to take my tea sit down have a bit of cake I've got a feeling your wax is just going to end up in the bottom of the fire. Wow, wow, wow. So, just got this from Tara. She's mocked up what the box and the cards would look like. What do we think? I think it looks good. She's so talented. That is a perfect way to end the working week. The lighting is so bad in here when it's dark outside. Never mind. Beef kofta's for tea. I'm going to crack on with it and I'll show you when it's done. Oh, here's another lovely one. We had some hummus that needed using, so I'll put that on the plate too. But, oh, this is our favourite sort of food. Here we go, Mr Warner. You're going to like this one. And is this another Disney Pixar movie? Yeah. Onward. The mum in this movie's got the same glasses I have. Oh, I ought to find out. Who so me. Do you think they based her on me? I think you might have done. No, that was a good one. Good morning to you and welcome to Saturday. It is pouring outside. It's grey, it's miserable. Glenn's wanted to buy a 12 volt fridge. The one he wanted was out of stock, but we've managed to find one, just the one in stock at Midland Chandlery. And they very kindly put it aside for us. We can go and pick it up today. So I'm going with Glenn. I'm not going to go into the shop. I'm going to stay in the car. And when we get back later, I'm going to make the no need bread. Oh, Mr. Warner, it's pouring out there. Cover that coal up. We don't want it getting wet. It's wet and moving. Launston. It's like the centre of the canal. Network. Yeah, you just wouldn't know it from the road. some LED bulbs as well. I bought three of them so that should be enough now to do the whole boat. We've just stopped at Waitrose in Toaster on our way back to our boat. Our friend the other day was really fed up just just feeling blur so uh, we just thought let's just stop off and uh, pick her up some flowers to cheer her up. Oh, I've just seen there is a massive queue to get into this shop. I think Glenn's just seen that as well. I've just seen the queue. <laughs> Since I got down there and I thought, no. Right, take two. Here comes Mr Warner. Oh, he's got an orchid. Glenn has got a generator for our friend Julianne who is on the cut. Her generator broke, but Glenn's got one that is had for ages. It's just a small one. He's just trying to get it started. It hasn't been started for years. 
Glenn just explaining that what happens is the oil and the petrol separate and then the petrol clogs up the carburetor. I was listening. You're kidding. Another flat tyre. I don't know which because it works run flat. That's where the air's coming out though, it's all cracked. Tyres at the moment, I'll tell you. What is it with us and tyres, Mrs. Warner? I, I don't get it, Glenn. Maybe someone's letting our tyres down. No, I don't think so. I think. Uh... No, I don't think so either. No. Another week, another flat tyre. So, uh, luck was have it. <laughs> or not it. have it. Wow, well, I'm keeping positive. We've got the MOT on Monday morning at 8.30 so I haven't even got time to get on Monday to get some other tyres done so I'm going to have to go and get some today. I'm going back to the boat. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Whilst poor Mr Warner has gone off to try and find some new tyres, I'm going to have a go at this no need bread. So many people have very helpfully sent me recipes of this no need bread. All you need, flour, some salt, a tiny bit of yeast and some water. That's it, no kneading. Is it really that simple? Let's have a look. That's the third one. Three and a quarter says two teaspoons of fine sea salt one two quarter of a teaspoon of active yeast quarter of a teaspoon is tiny it says stir everything so it's mixed Add in the warm water and stir with a wooden spoon or spatula until dough is evenly mixed. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and let the dough rest at room temperature for 12 to 18 hours. Right, fridge in, that's obviously not its final place, but until we sort the other one out, that's where that can stay for now. Well, that was the week. What a week. And to end with another bloody flat tyre. I know. That wasn't good. Uh, you managed to get a couple. It just cost me 120 quid. I would normally go to my friends, and unfortunately I can't at the moment, and I'm gutted. But anyway, I've just had two new tyres fitted because it's got MOT first thing Monday morning. I've got to be there at 8.30. <sighs> So I ain't got time. For, ain't got time for that. And it had a massive hole in. Well, it was. I think it had been where it had been running flat. Do you think? Mm. Mm. Let's update you on the board. So where we can tick some of these off. Generators ordered. It'd be here Monday, Tuesday. Batteries I haven't ordered that yet. Regulator and wiring that's ordered. And the solar, solar panel ordered. That's here. It's at the office. Right. Okay. Paint kitchen cupboards. No. I'm, I'm not going to paint them. Actually, I'm going to try first the inserts just the inserts yeah i'm going to get some gray matte vinyl or gloss vinyl whichever you prefer put, put pictures up no okay right no i haven't even looked into that yet I haven't looked at... and you want to make the engine room into a workshop yeah i can't that's... that's got a big fridge in it okay watch new disney movies can we give a tick to yeah, that one we've done that. We, we've we're done, doing, that. doing that Right, read a classic book, no. Mm. Finish my current book, no. no. I haven't even picked up my current book. Oh, I think book. I'm doing rather well, considering my jobs are all massive. Yeah. And you... all you've got to flip and do is read a book. <laughs> no. uh, use what you got challenge. Well, we, we, we've we're got doing that. that. Start a podcast. I'm going to do the first yeah, episode yeah. next week. Yeah. Create and launch a new product. That's going good. Vlogger box. Is in hand. That's in hand. So is that particular? No, because it's not, it's not set up yet. And... Not even on the list. I cleaned all the windows yesterday. So like, I think I think someone I'm taking this very seriously. I think Mrs. Warner's just like living a life of Riley. 
Do you think? Yeah. Do you think? You would have seen on yesterday's big news that we are moving. We've handed our notice in here. We are off. The idea is we're going to be canal side for December, January, February, and then we're going to use that mooring as our base. But we're going to keep hold of it because it's, it's a very nice spot, a little bit of a garden. We're so. very delighted to have secured such a lovely mooring, and our thanks go to Chili Jam Jeff. I want to just give a quick shout out to some friends that we haven't seen for a while and also a friend's son who have got covid at the moment so we just want to wish them really well and also our friend joe it was her birthday last week and oh, gosh, obviously yeah. there was no pub tuesday so we couldn't celebrate so mm. massive hello and love mm. to joe also hello vina hello vina and I think that's about it that's for this bit. week. Thanks everyone for watching. Stay tuned for next week. See you soon. Bye. Take care. Bye.